I'm a little bit sick of shoveling gravel through that uh, little sieve and I've got all this to do in my garden and then I've got my mums to do, so speed build. So let's speed build some sort of sieve. If I do it quite well, I can probably keep it. I've got enough to do around the house and stuff, so um, let's see what we can do, yeah? 33. Thirty-three speed square. This was pennies on it on Amazon. Brilliant thing. Gives you that square edge. You ain't got one? Go and get one. Uh, salt. So you want to set these. So just below the depth you're cutting. I used to make that mistake. I used to have it set full on all the time. And it doesn't work very well. Right. Safety glasses, protect yourself. Best tools I ever bought, Ryobi. I use it for everything, it's amazing. Right, so got my two sides, and those for a second. Right, that's two sides, 17 inches wide. I am going to build myself a proper workshop at some point. Might film that as well. Right. right so we'll just screw this together. Use my um, quick square to get it square. Real big drills. When I started buying tools, I started buying Roby for no apparent reason. They don't sponsor me or anything like that. I love Roby tools. I've got a great collection of them there. Highly recommend this stuff. bottom bit but I'm not going to do it across like that for a reason that will become obvious when I'm sieving gravel so what I want now is something to hold this solid across here and I probably yeah I'll do the mesh first and then I'll put the top panel on so here we go right, so the mesh for making the sieve itself I went to Wix and I got some of this galvanized mesh panel I'm sure you can get this from practically anywhere um, I went for the slightly narrower gauge because I want to get as much dirt out and keep the smaller stones out but it was like four quid something like that so I'm going to attach this to the top so to make the first attachment I'm just going to use one of these uh, staple gun thing from Toolzilla. Uh, I'll fix it more firmly but you'll see what I'm doing with this. Thank you. 
this is now the underside. I think I'll fold these down. Yeah, fold those under. need to trim off this uh, excess at this end. Let's see if these work. Big pair of sheer things. Okay. So I think what I'll do is I'm going to bands along here to make that more secure. to squirreled away. That's a battery piece of wood that was really twisted. But that should be perfect. My new favourite Ryobi tool, it's an airstrike nailer. Seen these all over YouTube, bought one. Amazing bit of gear. bullets so I said it was warped well yeah kind of want this to last so I think I'll stick a couple of screws in there now like I said I've left this front end open now the reason I've done that is I want the, the gravel to flow off it but this will get obviously quite weak so we'll put a panel across here See if that works. It's a bit thick, but it should be alright for this end. I want this end to survive, so we'll do that.
this end I'll just use this. That's the basic design done. So that is essentially it. Big sieve. Dirt will flow out that end. So stones will flow out that end, dirt will flow through. Uh, legs. It needs legs. You can uh, watch the intricacies of my design process here. Best if it could be stored away flat like this. I want it really stable. Mm. Okay, like most of you, I have bits of wood lying around in my garage. I have no idea what they are. This is a nice piece of wood. Looks like it came off a cabinet or something maybe cut this in half see how we go on Back legs done. So I've got another couple of pieces like this. I think I'll have to set for it not being portable at the moment. I need to get that work done tomorrow, but uh, I'll think about how I could make foldy legs or something. So let's get on with attaching these. So it's come out a little bit Batman's wonky cave, but it'll do the job, I think. I think what I'll do is put some cross braces. I've got these sort of bits of wood. So if I use those, cross brace it, should be strong enough. Okay, gonna stop now for dinner, but there you go. The reason it was bowed was these battens weren't on very well. Yeah, that's pulled it into shape. And maybe, maybe I'll do the same on the front. Yeah, maybe. But here we go, let's try it. That's gonna work. Just needs a little collector chute here. So I can have the bag. And then just pull the stones down into it. Yeah. 